Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here with jumpstartyourbiznow.com and jumpstartpublishing.net. And I want to talk to you a kind of about a sensitive topic today that I think is affecting every single entrepreneur on the planet. And what it is, is it's the, uh, it's the what if factor. I talk about this in my events and coaching. What if something happens to a loved one? I am in the middle <laughs> right now of so many clients with their themselves or their significant others in the hospital with COVID or some other issue. Uh, also with clients who have had a loved one pass in the last week, there's probably three of them right now. I think there's three of them right now that have had a loved one pass. And now I'm in my fifties. I just early fifties, 51. Um, most of my clients, I would say, are over 50, but some are younger. Um, and I think the older we get, I swear to God, something happens every single week in my world, into, in, in some area of my world, whether it's something close to me or someone not so close. Uh, my sister had a, her, one of her stepmoms just died um, a week, like less than a week ago. I had a close friend, um, one of her close family members died, who I knew as well, just a few days ago. Uh, God, and my other client who were publishing her book in uh, less than, a, well, in about less than a week, a um, little over a week, I'm sorry, um, her husband's in the hospital, uh, he had a seizure. So like, this is crazy right? It's crazy to run a business when so much other stuff is going on. And I wanted to come and talk today about this because, well, there's a lot of things. You still have to wear that entrepreneur hat. You still have to be the CEO and or the marketing person and or the salesman and or the personal assistant scheduling people in your business while all this stuff may be happening to you or those you know or love. And so what I usually speak about when, when I bring this topic up of the, what if something happens? What if something happens to you or a loved one or a friend or family or a client? You know, do you have the systems in place in your business to be able to step out of it for a week or two weeks or three weeks to be able to go to a different town and have to live with somebody in a spare bedroom or a hotel to take care of them uh, with just a laptop and a phone, would you be able to still sustain your regular revenue generation activities and the consistent money coming in in your cash flow? Would that be, uh, or would you, would it just like crumble, right? Would it crumble? I don't want it to crumble. I hate to see that. I hate to see when somebody has a business that they're extremely passionate about and they don't have all the stuff set up in place so that in case something happened, they could just take off and an assistant could handle certain things. Um, definitely a marketing person or a web person or somebody could manage your emails. Somebody could manage your, your, your emails coming in, but also the emails going out. Somebody could manage your website. Somebody could manage leads. Somebody could manage the phone. Uh, so you don't have to when something like this happens. You need to be there for your family, your friends, yourself, perhaps, or a loved one. And it's crazy how much this is happening everywhere. I swear I'm surrounded by it. I can't even keep up with all the condolence cards that I'm sending with all the, uh, I just, I have to like, it's insane. There's probably a dozen people right now that I know are hurting so bad. And all I can do is be there for them. Right. And try to do whatever I can on my end, but I wanna do this in a proactive manner. I want to get your business up, set up for success before anything happens. You cannot wait. You cannot wait to get the right website, the right technology, the right backend database management systems, the right funnels, the right follow-up, the right sales process, the right pricing programs uh, and uh, payment plans and credit card taking services and the right team to help you manage your business. If you are serious about a business, you have to set this up now. You have to stop 
whatever you're doing. And whether it's me or somebody else, you have to have some cause with us. You have to get stuff like prepared. You have to get these changes implemented. You have to get people in place, processes in place and planning in place, or you will be in manual labor chaos if something were to happen and your cash flow, your revenue could just tank in a matter of minutes or days. And I don't want to see that happen. So I want to talk to you, see how I can help you. I am an open door. Like I want to just have a conversation. There is no obligation to buy anything. Okay. Like, but you'd be silly not to come and talk to me. You'd be silly. People say like, sometimes, uh, you know, well, Katrina, I can't afford you. Well, you don't even know how much it is. You're not even willing to come and find out and or get some valuable nuggets of information that I might be able to impart with you on a call with me. Please stop self-sabotaging yourself by staying solo, by staying in your own, whatever it is, like thinking you're going to figure this all out. I've got a lot of answers for a lot of different challenges and problems in your business. I've been doing this with working with small business owners for over 20 years. You want to come and talk to me. If you, if we have not have a, had a discussion yet, you, you just got to put those big girl, big boy panties on and let's go, right? I just want to have a call with you. I want to find out where you are, where you want to go, where the holes and opportunities are, what's missing, what's missing, what could be fixed quickly or easily or inexpensively in your business to have it so that you had revenue coming in in case something happens. You cannot wait for, you know, oh, I got to wait till this happens. I got to wait till January and this little, stop it. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You have to get this in place now. You don't want to be surrounded. You don't want to be like one of my clients right now and one of my friends who are going through all this and they're not bringing in cash flow yet. Some of my clients are newer and they we haven't gotten these things set up yet. And I'm like, ah, we got to hurry, right? We got to hurry and get this stuff set up so that you can live your best life ever and you can give to whoever it is you need to give to. But you got to take care of yourself first yourself and your systems and your business so that you are set up for success and financial freedom, basically, in your business. So come and talk to me. Uh, go to askcat.biz. Excuse me. It's A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z. And let's have at least have a just a get to know you conversation. You never know who I'm going to recommend to talk to you or connect you with, or I might have an idea that I just can't hold back and I'm just going to blurt it out. You never know what's going to happen. Stop self-sabotaging yourself by waiting to come and talk to someone like me who knows a lot about a lot on how to really run a successful money-making business. Okay. Go to askcat, A-S-K-K-A-T dot B-I-Z right now. Yes, there's some questions on there. You got to fill them out. I want to know where you're at and what you're doing. Go fill out the questions. What have you got to lose? Nothing, but you've got a ton to gain. Let's have a call. As soon as you fill those out, you'll be taken to my online scheduler. You'll get on my calendar and we're going to talk. Okay. All right. Don't let this happen to you where you get stuck and you can't do anything because you have to go off and help somebody. That's my message to you today because... I'm seeing it everywhere and I don't want to see it happen to you. Thanks.